how is it doing today? Good. That's great. Um, the secretary told me that you're here for a cranial nerve examination. Is that right? Yes? Okay. And it seems like it's been a while since you've last been here. Um, was your last visit in January of last year? It was? Okay. Um, in that case, I will need to take some basic information before we can begin. Um, your first name? That's with a pH. Okay. Um, date of birth. Sorry. Yes. The year as well. Sixty three. Your current address. Is that off of charity? It is, okay. I have um, relatives in the region. And that should set us for that. Um, is there any specific reason why you're coming in today for a cranial nerve examination? I only ask because um, it's not the most common examination and for you to um, for you to disappear for a year and then ask for one it um, leads me to think that something may have occurred recently something did happen okay um, what then led you to seek an examination today? Exposure to what? Toxic gas. Okay. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how did you come to be, how did you come to be exposed to um, what you refer to as toxic gas? What is that exactly? Oh, chemical gas. Okay, so are you referring to anything specific? Ammonia and bleach mixed together. Okay. Um, I don't mean to be snoopy, but how did that happen exactly? You were cleaning your bathroom. Okay. Well, I'm happy you know now that bleach and ammonia cannot be mixed together, successfully that is, without serious risk to your health. But, with that being said, we can um, definitely perform a quick examination and then after, if you'd like, we could um, have some further tests, okay? Okay, uh, for the examination, it will require me to come in close at times. Um, i just like you to know so that you're comfortable with that. Okay, do you have any questions before we begin? No? Okay. Then, with all the basic information out of the way, we can begin. And just so you know, I will uh, at times need to stop and write for my own notes, um, but I am uh, giving you full attention the whole time, okay? 
Have you had one of these before? You have? How was it? Sir? You found it soothing? Okay. How was it soothing? Tingling sensation. Okay. Um, well, tell you what, after we perform the examination, um, I'd like to look into that a bit, because that seems somewhat unusual. Okay. First things first, um, I'd like you to look directly at me, in between my eyes, and while you're doing that, I'm going to be holding up numbers with my hands, and I'd just like you to say what number you register out loud, okay? Okay. So remember, look at me. Two. Okay. Very good. Good. Um, I'd like you to do the same thing. This time, if you could cover your left eye, that would be great. Okay. Very good. good. I'm keeping the left eye closed. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, now if you can do the same thing, this time if you can keep the right eye closed. Okay. So yeah. Just cover your eye like that. Very good. Very good. Okay. Sorry, could you say that one again? Two. Okay, sorry. I heard three somehow. My bad. Um, and again, with both eyes uncovered. Two. Very good. Okay. Okay. Very good. We're almost done here. I'm just taking um, my own notes. One sec. Okay. And a few more. Okay. Very good. Yes, that was too. Okay. Very good. Okay, well, that all seems to be in order. Well, you um, seem to be doing very well so far. Uh, we are now going to conduct a different portion of the exam. This time, I'm going to be um, checking for our blind spots in your vision. We all have blind spots and 
and we have one eye closed. And the purpose of this test is just to assess whether you um, whether you have a noticeable awareness of your blind spots, okay? As I was saying, we all have blind spots. For this exam, I'm going to have you first close your right eye, and I'm going to be running this pen across. When the pen disappears, just let me know, okay? And then when it reappears, the same thing, okay? Good. Um, as I was saying, close your right eye for this first portion, okay? Good. Ready? There, okay? There. Okay. And it's back. Good. There. Okay. And you see it again. There. Very good. You seem to be doing well so far. Um, this time, if you can close your left eye. No, sorry. Um, keep your right eye. You can open your right eye. Yes. Right eye open, left eye closed. Very good. And same thing. There. Okay. There. Okay. That's bad. Okay, and you see it. Very good. Very good. Okay. You uh, can open your eyes now. You uh, seem to be doing well so far, and I think your vision is fantastic, um, but we will run through the rest of the exam to make sure of that. There is... Okay, so, now I'm just going to see, um, just going to assess how uh, sensitive your pupils are, um, how sensitive your pupils are to light, that is. So, I am going to be running a straight light right across your eyes, and if you can just tell me, um, well, that will give me enough information to determine uh, how healthy your pupils are in terms of reactive to light. Okay. Uh, if we can start off with your um, start off with your left eye. Okay. Um, my left, not your left. Yes. Okay. And uh, your right, your right eye. And just make sure your left eye stays open. Okay. Very good. And 
sorry if you can um, hold your head still while we do this. Thanks. Very good. And let's do this one more time on this side. switch if you can close your um, close your right eye and have your left eye open okay ready yeah. do you want to take a break yeah, that's fine I understand now um it's hard to keep your eyes open that long do you have any plans for the summer you do where are you going? With family? Yeah, um, seems like everyone is. <laughs> What's that? Being lethargic as well. Well, it's summer, so uh, I think we can all be a little lazier. Are you ready? Okay. Um, as I was saying, if you can have your left eye closed and your right eye open this time. Okay. Ready? Sorry, I thought I heard something. Okay. Very good. This time we're going to be doing a similar, a similar thing with the light, but if you can, um, this time just focus on the light, follow the light the whole time, okay? And um, you're going to have both eyes open for this, okay? Okay, ready? This side. Okay, and one more. Seem to be doing well in that as well, in that portion of the exam as well. So far we have nothing to worry about. Okay. For this next portion of the exam, I want you to follow my finger now, okay? Ready? using the flashlight again. This time I want to look at um, the back of your eyes as uh, we go through the process. It's similar to the pupils exercise. I'd like you to follow the light with both eyes. Um, I just want to make sure you didn't experience any sensitivity while I was checking your pupils, did you? No? Okay. No discomfort whatsoever. No. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions for me before we continue? No? Okay. Do you have any questions for me before we continue? No? Okay. Um, so. If you can follow the light, 
as before. That'd be great. Ready? Good. So you said you had friends coming, or you were uh, visiting family? Are you excited? Okay. Sorry? You are? Okay. Have you seen anyone specific? A friend of yours. Hmm. For this next exercise, I want you just to look into the direction that I that I say. Okay. Great. Ready. Right. Okay. Right. That means just straight ahead for you. Straight. Okay. Left. Left. Right. Straight again. Now I'd like to um, test, test your hearing, okay? So, I'm going to start off by blocking one ear, and then I want you to tell me if you can hear from the other one, and um, repeat the specific words that I say, okay? Great. Tesla. Very good. Unicorn. I assure you this is medical. Yes. Okay. Just bear with me. Water. Okay. Butter. to um, cover your left ear now and perform the same thing on the right side, okay? Good. Holidays. Holidays. Okay. Spinster. Spinster. Very good. Um, general. General. Good. good. Spider. Spider. Okay. And um, I'm just going to check both ears again. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Good. And remember to repeat it back, okay? Um, Arkansas. Arkansas. Difficult. Difficult. Good. And this here again. Chair. Chair. Good. Robert. Robert. Very good. Just a couple more. Piglet. 
piglet. Good. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Well, you seem to miss that last one, but the rest were um, perfect. So uh, I think you have a pass with that. Um, for this next exercise, I'd like you to close your eyes, both of them, and I'm actually going to walk around you while your eyes are closed and um, say words out loud. I just want you to tell me when you hear them, okay? Great. Are you ready? Remember, close your eyes. Okay. Couscous, couscous, couscous. Very good. Tesla. Tesla. Francois Olad. Francois Olad. Very good. A S M R. A S M R. Seem to be uh, performing well in the hearing portion of this exam as well. So, so far we have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Um, for the final portion, I. Uh, you to have your eyes closed again. I'm just going to uh, use the cap here to make a noise and I'd like you to tell me when I close it. Okay? Good. Sorry, when I open or close it. Hear that one? Okay. Very good. Well, with your hearing checked, I think we can uh, move on to the olfactory part of the assessment. Yes, the olfactory system is, um, you know basically responsible for your sense of smell, okay? Now for this we have various perfumes, which are very specific, and I'm going to be um, dipping Q-tips into the solutions which have these perfumes, and I just want you to tell me what you smell, okay? Great. Well, 
what do you smell there? Strawberries is right. These um, smells aren't too specific. They are, um, well, we try not to um, be so specific where someone who hasn't had, say, a blueberry wouldn't know what it is. Um, so that was just a general berry smell. Well, I would have accepted any type of berry, really. Ready? Okay. What do you smell? Apples. Great. And just have a few more. Fumes. There. Orange is correct. Orange again. Good job. What's that? You cook a lot. Oh. That may explain your ability to um to uh, easily determine the food related smells, but there are some others in here as well. What do you smell there? The ocean. Okay. And there. Very good. Okay. So your um olfactory olfactory system seems to be responsive as well. Um, I'd like to uh, check your facial muscles now to make sure that all of your all of your individual muscles and nerves are responsive, okay? I'm going to need to touch your face for this, if you don't mind, okay? Good. Feel bad? Mm, okay. If um, you could try to um, have a clenched jaw, like this. Okay, keep that clenched. Okay. Um, if you could, um, if you could try to have a clenched jaw, uh, that'd be great. Yeah, just um, like that. Have your keep your teeth close together. Okay. Ready? Sorry about that. Go. Okay. Keep that up. Now you can loosen the jaw. If you could suck, <coughs> if you could suck your cheeks in for me, like that, that'd be great. And do you feel any tension as you do that? No. Okay. Okay. If you could open your mouth for me. And uh, put your, or tilt your head back a little. That'd be great. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Very good. 
Okay. And uh, if you can smile now. Sorry. Oh no, um, I just like to have my clients smile in general. That's why. Two more for your facial exercises. If you can puff your cheeks, so like that, okay? Yeah, good job. And when you puff your cheeks, do you feel any tension in your um, temples? No? Okay, you can do that again then. Doing it? Do you feel any tension? No. Okay. Um, and this time, if you could scrunch your face, you know, just um, like that. Okay. And when you do that, I'm going to press on your temples, and I'd like you to tell me when you feel any pressure developing in the region. Okay. Very good. Do you feel any pressure yet? No? Okay. You can tilt your head back again and keep doing that. Do you feel any pressure? If you can tilt your head back and keep doing that. Do you feel any pressure? No? Okay. Now if you can tilt your head back and keeping your face scrunched, do you feel any pressure? No pressure? Okay, good. Well, your, um, your facial muscles seem to be in check as well. Well, you um, seem to pass everything with flying colors, and you're, uh, you seem to uh, be in very healthy condition, despite your exposure to, um, as you mentioned earlier, the chemical gas from the ammonia and bleach. Uh, do you have any questions for me before you left? Oh, right, the dentist, yes. So, if your friend is having, um, you said it's a toothache? Yes? Okay. So, right across from me, there's a, fan, there's a great dentist, and um, she can actually help her with that. Unless, she, does she already have a dentist? No. Okay. So, this is um, his contact information, and I would definitely suggest um, sending your friend to him, okay? And there you are. And when we first began the examination, you said um, that you normally experience a, uh, a tingling sensation. A euphoric state? Okay. Um, did you experience that in this examination? You did? Okay. Well, um, I don't know exactly what that is. Um, I have, I have a few opinions on the matter. Um, I'd, like, I'd actually like you to come in next week if you could, okay? Um, as I said, I don't exactly know what that is you're experiencing, but I'd like to explore it a little further, okay? Can we set you in for a time next week then? We can? Okay. Um, are you busy? Are you busy? 
Thursday. No? Okay. okay. At around, say, 3 o'clock. That works out. Good. 3 o'clock. And, um, you can hand this to the receptionist out there, and she will punch this into my calendar for me as well. Okay? Good. I look forward to seeing you next Thursday at 3 o'clock, and um, that's when you can expect to see me again.